All right, to kick off your weekend, I thought I'd throw a quick video together here on how to do image to image with SDXL. If you want to skip ahead a bit because you've seen me do this a thousand times, that's fine. But um, I think it's a good practice to just kind of see it repeatedly so you understand it. Um, but I'm going to move a little bit quickly here. So we're going to load in our checkpoint here and pick the base. And we're not going to use a refiner on this one. I mean, you could, but I think for just the clarity of, of the process, I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, so I've got this here and I obviously need to uh, encode this clip here. So let's load those in. So I'm just going to type in SDXL and load in loader. Loaders here, grab this. And uh, just like before, we want to convert these to our positive prompts. So we'll just convert these to text because I don't want to deal with them. Uh, so this is going to be a primitive. And this will be our positive prompt. We're going to use that in both of the areas here. And these are both going to be set to green uh, because I know it's my positive prompt. Or green. And I want to do the exact same thing, but uh, I'm going to do it for the negative prompt. So I'm just going to make sure I hold down the shift key when I paste. And that will allow it to uh, take everything in its connections. So there we go. We have our positive or negative prompt. Uh, we're going to use a cyborg picture today. So say... I'm going to spell the word cyborg correctly. And then down in the negative prompt, I don't really have a compulsion to put anything. So I'm just going to leave it blank. Okay, so here's where we're going to kind of vary what we would do normally. So we have our case sampler uh, that we would low in. And we would normally use the advanced case sampler. But today we're going to use the simple one. And uh, we would bring our model in just like we would normally. Here's our positive, our negative prompt. And then we would normally have a latent... Uh, only noise. So let's just let's just hook this up the way we would normally do it. Um, so actually, we do add noise down to latent, empty latent. Here we would do again 1024 because that's what uh, SDXL is good at. That's the optimal size of the train size. And here's latent. So you're with me already. We've probably done this graph a few times, but we're almost done. And then over here we want to VAE decode it. So we want to turn it back from a latent into a picture. So we'll go here and then we can pull this out and do your image. Okay, basic graph. Now, how do we image to image with this? Really the secret is we're going to, instead of pushing an empty latent in, we're gonna push in a latent that is from an image. So there is a uh, an add-on I would recommend you get. Um, so in the manager, which by the way, the manager, if you don't have that, it's over on Civit as well. And then if you're on Civit, since you're over there, uh, there's a group of nodes on there called the Durfu nodes here. Uh, so this Durfu nodes, and you can also just get these over on GitHub. Uh, if you click on this, it'll open it in GitHub, and you can see where those are. Uh, those are the ones you want to go grab, and uh, you're going to install those. Now, what those do is they give you some uh, uh, capabilities for image sizing, and that's really kind of the biggest problem you're going to face here because the rest of this is kind of easy. Uh, so first of all, let's bring an image in. And to do that, we're just going to add a node, get on image, and then we're going to load an image. And I have one here uh, that I like, but I'm going to grab another one here real quick. I have all these women cyborgs that I've created over the months since I've been doing this. And uh, this this image is huge, uh, just huge. Now if we try and pull this out, for example, you see it's going to be uh, it's going to be gigantic. And that's the the problem is is that these things have all been scaled up because I'd planned to retouch them and finish them and do something with them. And I just never got around to them. So what I want to do is I want to play with this image, but it's gigantic. And that's where those Durfu nodes come in here. So let's do add node, Durfu nodes, and we'll go to modded nodes, image. And then this is the one we're looking for is image scale to side. It's a pretty simple concept. It basically says the image you drag in here, I'm going to scale the longest side to 1024. So we know that this will now fit into this model. Otherwise, it's going to be several thousand pixels on the long edge, and that's not useful. Uh, so this will do all the heavy lifting for us. And I'm just going to leave the rest of these all set because I don't mind, you know, it's the longest edge. Uh, I really don't care about the upscale method and so on. But I want to do is I want to feed this in and I want to put it into this latent. Well, there's a way to do that. If you drag this out for the suggested nodes, there's a BAE encode node. So as I say, what's your BAE? Well, it's this one. So it's, it's the, pretty much the exact opposite of this thing over here where we take uh, the latent and we take a VAE 
and we create an image. In this case, it's taking an image in a VAE and turning it back into a latent. Well, look at that. Just plug that right in there. And then the denoise here is how much of it do you want to keep? Uh, so it's backwards. So 100% means 100% get rid of the image. And then a uh, 0% would mean we want to see uh, exactly the same image. So in this case, let's say we get rid of, um, we'll get rid of 35% uh, of the image and the rest of the image will, will stay the same. Uh, so a, a, this is a pretty good amount for denoise, I think, in general. Uh, so we're going to start there. And then uh, let's just see what we end up with. And there we go. So we could put these down next to each other. Eight. Obviously one is much larger than the other one. Each other sort of get them. So um, pretty similar. The detail in the hair, the face is better now. Um, SDXL is just better at faces. And I do like what it did to some of the circuitry here. It looks a little bit more form fitting. Uh, so yeah, it's satisfactory, but we could go ahead and play with this. So against this, the number you're really working with here is this denoise here. So if we go, you know, this is what I do. I'd kind of get my, my interface. And so it's kind of what I can see before and after wise. And then I'll just play with this thing. So let's say we go and we want say 45% right again. And I like the speed of this because it doesn't have to reload all those nodes again. Um, but it's going to look a little bit different now because we're allowing it to change nearly half of the image. Yeah. So kind of fun uh, being able to take uh, a concept you had and then image to image it. And again, using the prompt to guide this. Uh, and I'm looking to perfect this into something that's more usable. Like I liked so much about this image, but it just wasn't good enough. And now I have the ability to kind of take that and run with it. And again, because we are dealing with images that are much larger than we used to have, uh, this is uh, pretty forgiving. And we can even take this larger. And I'll cover some other things about scaling this in another video. But I wanted to give you this quick one for the weekend so you understand how image to image works. And again, that Durfu node suite is really handy. Uh, otherwise, we have to do some math. And, and math is fine. There's math nodes available. But uh, realistically, that node is just so simple. Um, and I love it. Why not? And of course, just like everything else here, it's free and open source, and it is over on Civit as well. Uh, so if you want to grab them from there or on Git. Anyway, that's what I have for today. Everybody take care, stay safe, and have a great weekend.